Good morning, you guys. So today is March 22nd, I think. I don't even fucking know. I do know that today's gonna be a very fucking fun day because this morning I woke up and I bought season pass tickets to Dollywood. And I'm so excited. I've never had a season pass in my life to Dollywood. Um, and I'm definitely gonna like make use of this throughout the year, but I thought it'd be fun if we went to Dollywood. I might stop at the alcohol store and get some shots and uh, get drunk at Dollywood. I think it'll be fun. And then tonight, we're gonna go have dinner at the Melting Pot, which is like a really bougie restaurant where you like cook the food in front of you and stuff. I think it'll make for a very fun day. I'm having a, I guess you could call it a treat me day where we have fun all day. So um, I'm excited. It's like 10 in the morning. No, 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 it's like 8.30 a.m. right now. I did have an appointment to get my contacts today. I was gonna get like an eye exam and get contacts, but, um, I, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> they had it for like noon and it like interferes with like everything else too much. So I'm just gonna like reschedule it and get contacts another day because I'm really fucking tired of wearing glasses um, and I'm blind as a fucking bat. So yeah, we're about to head out because it's like an hour and a half drive to Dollywood. We're gonna get some coffee, some breakfast and bro, I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's supposed to rain later today and it's kind of gloomy outside, but hopefully It'll, like, deter a lot of people from going there, so it won't be as, like, busy or anything, so, I don't know. We'll see. Just went and got coffee. I had this in one of my previous videos. It's so fucking good. It's, like, it's vanilla latte with strawberry cold foam, and I swear, like, I get this almost every day. All right, you guys, we're at Dollywood now. We just parked, and, oh my god, I didn't have to pay for parking because I bought the season pass. It was, like, it saved me, like, 30 bucks, so it's definitely worth the fucking money. Um, this is Christian's first time ever going to Dollywood. Um, we just stopped and got some of these buzz balls. I'm literally having flashbacks to Disney World because we chugged these in the parking lot at Disney, um, like a few weeks ago. Cheers, let's get it. Cheers. I'm not gonna be as much of a bitch this time when I drink this one either. I'll tell. Oh my god, this one's so much better than the strawberry. Oh my god. Let's go in this beach. Hey, fold it and put it in the same aisle that you're sitting in. Smell's gonna go on the inside seats away from the boring aisle or on an adult seat. You guys, we're in Dollywood. What the fuck? I'm so excited. This is so nice. Look at the look at the little pink thingies. They have it decorated so cute. What do you think? I love this. This is nice. And they're playing Dolly's music. <laughs> This was like going to Kentucky for the first time. This is so Kentucky core. I need to go pee. Oh my God, those buzz balls were such a good idea. I wish, I wish we had more. more. I swear to God, every time I underestimate. We should have got like four and just got like blackout drunk. We'll jump off a plane after four buzz balls. All right, y'all, we're going on Mystery Mine. This is my favorite ride at Dollywood. Okay, so we're going on this ride called the Fire Chaser. It looks fun. Apparently this one goes backwards. I'm really looking forward to that. We just rode the Wild Eagle, and now we got snacks. Christian got this giant ass turkey ham hock leg. <laughs> and then I got this shaboing boing with like potato or some shit. Looks good. An eating contest wouldn't exactly be fair between these. 
Okay guys, um, so we have left Dollywood. It is like seven o'clock, something like that now. And we just parked um, and we're about to walk to the melting pot. The melting pot, I I have recorded a video at the melting pot on my Bentley Blaze channel, but I've not went with you guys on this channel. Um, it's so good, I can't wait. So we went to the alcohol store. I picked up this. If you don't know what this is, it's Kylie Jenner's new um, vodka soda. She's If you follow Kylie on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen this. Like she's been posting about it literally every day. And at first I was like, damn bitch, another brand? Like how many products do you need to come out with? But this is like, the packaging looks dope and she keeps talking about it and everyone seems to like it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna try it. I am a Kylie stan. We also got shooters. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have those fucking buzz balls hit earlier. Before we go into the melting pot, we're gonna pregame. I got some Casamigos tequila. I'm stirring this into my... Oh my god, you're just gonna bring yours in? Yeah. I think I'm just gonna bring mine I'm in too. I'm stirring it into a Coca-Cola. That's so ghetto of us to do it like oh, an up... Shit. This is such like an upscale restaurant. I'm not paying fucking how much ever much for a Manhattan. It's probably like $20 for a drink. Like literally fuck that. Oh my god, it smells like weed. It's so hardcore out here. Oh my god, they were smoking a blunt? Yeah. That's lit. We're in the melting pot. We have our little cubby. And if you didn't know, this is like a fondue restaurant. You can, you cook all your food in front of you and it's like four course, five course. It's like a five course dinner. It's like crazy. Alpine blend cheese. It's always the worst part. You gotta sit here and watch me melt cheese. Yeah. It's the best part. Oh my God, is it gonna be like super hot? Mm. That's so good. Okay guys, so we have the entree now. We always do the steak lovers. So you get like a bunch of different fancy steak. You get a bunch of different dipping sauces. And then this is like wine with vegetables in it. It's so good. I am not the biggest steak person. But this place has the best steak, I swear. So it is the next day. Um, last night we didn't get back home until like 10 o'clock at night. It was like super fucking late. Um, the melting pot was really good though. It like never disappoints. We were gonna sit home all day today and um, like just chill at home. But then this morning when I was getting dressed, I was like taking forever to find out what I wanted to wear. And I was like, damn, I like, I really hate my clothes. Like I hate a lot of my clothes. Like I don't wear half of the shit I have. Um, and I really wanted some new shit. So we got up and left and we just drove two hours to Lexington, Kentucky. Um, we were actually just here for the Drake concert like a week or two ago, but we're back because they have a lot of really good um, vintage stores and like thrift stores here. And there's a really good mall here as well. And I actually saw um, someone comment recently that they wanted me to do like a vintage thrifting video where I get stoned and go thrifting. And I'm gonna do that today. Hopefully I can find some cool shit. That's pretty cool. That's nice. I almost would get this. I would almost buy this. The buttons are cool too. Damn, that's sick. So we just left the first vintage store of the day and we actually found this, well actually Christian found it. But when he showed me, I was like, damn, I want that. So I was like, can I see that? So then I was like sitting there looking at it, I was like, damn, I want this. But he wanted it too. It's like, bro, look at this. It's like Ralph Lauren. And it's like really big and oversized. Usually when I find these, they're like super small. Or like, it's Nautica. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. It's fucking Nautica. It looks Bro. like something It tall. does look like Ralph Lauren. Like, I don't know why, but I thought that was that horse for a second. I'm fucking hungry. So we're about to go in old Chicago and get some food. We used to eat here all the time when we lived in Colorado and it's really fucking good and they have good drinks. I'm just hoping they give me a booth. When me and Christian used to come to this restaurant a lot, I would always get this Tito's vodka strawberry thing with like basil in it and it's the best drink ever. I once came here and drank three of these and I was like super fucked up and they're so good. 
I actually used to have a crazy Tito's addiction when I lived in Colorado. I had like literal bottles. Like I just like went through by myself. It was really bad. So every time I drink this, it reminds me of that time in my life. Bro, so good. I also drank this entire thing and I got another on the way. Um, so we just left the restaurant and then we went to Total Wine. You guys are gonna think we're alcoholics. I'm most definitely not an alcoholic, but we went and bought bus balls <laughs> because we're, we're not done shopping and we're about to go into the mall and then maybe a few vintage stores. I had two of those drinks and he had two beers at the, the restaurant. Feeling good, um, but we can feel better. I didn't drink for like eight months last year and then like I just kind of started again and it's like not for any bad reason. I'm just enjoying it. Yeah. How the fuck do you do that? By being baller. Buzz baller. I can't wait to go on Abercrombie and Fetch off that buzz ball. Ah! All right, you guys, we're in Abercrombie. I can't, I'm like obsessed with this fucking store lately. It's so good. I actually have this shirt. If you guys remember, I bought this. It's really nice. This is cool too. Damn, this would be cool like over top of that. We just left the mall. I actually ran into one of you guys in there, which was pretty cool. And I fucked up a bag at um, Abercrombie & Fitch. I got like everything that I tried on. <laughs> I got everything. I got this camo sweatshirt. It's like pretty badass. Um, it's very fitting for where I'm from. Next up, I got these jeans or pants. Yeah, that's like denim pants, but they're like green. It reminds me of like Kim Possible. I don't know why, but they fit me really. Sorry. Shut up! I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. Um, but I got these and they're really good. Like they fit me really good and they're nice. Next up I got this shirt, which is like super fucking hot. It's like super hot on me because like bro, look at this deep V. It like shows off this neck tattoo that I got perfectly. So look, you know what? Let me get this. I usually never get a deep V. I don't know why. I just always thought they were like super gay looking growing up. Like who the fuck wears a deep V besides a gay person? Um <clears throat> me and then christian got here you can show them what i got i guess they care <laughs> <laughs> uh, i got this at h&m just a you know tan shirt liked it it's tan shirt it's like nice and thick um so yeah it's like six o'clock probably yeah let's get, back let's get the fuck back home all right go um so i'm gonna do a little try on of these clothes and show y'all that and i kind of already showed you guys what i bought for the clothes um and i'm also about to start trying the sprinters we just got back home like i said it was about a two hour drive back home so it's like 9 30 now it's like dark out but i'm not giving up on the day yet because i really want to fucking try these um so i was watching like kylie's stories and if you didn't know, this is Kylie Jenner's alcohol drink that she just came out with. Honestly, a random ass brand. I didn't expect her to come out with this. And at first I was like thrown off. I was like, what the fuck? That's like, I, I, I don't know. I was like, what the fuck? That's kind of dumb. Um, but she keeps promoting the shit out of it. And <laughs> it seems like everyone like likes it. And I love me a good seltzer. Y'all already know that. So this is like perfect for me. Um, so let's fucking try it. I also really like the fucking cans. They look nice. They look so nice, actually. I love the color and, like, just the whole look of it. I really am curious, like, why she came out with this. Like, she needs to drop, like, a video on like, YouTube or, like, a, a reel explaining, like, why she wanted to make this and why she chose the name and why she chose the packaging. I just feel like there should be more of that. Um, it would make people, like, feel like it's a more genuine brand rather than just, like, um... A cash grab you know what i mean like i feel like she should do that um but i've like warmed up to the brand like i fucking bought it obviously so we'll see if it's actually any good and this is vodka so so she said that the black cherry is her favorite which is this one so i'm gonna try this one first and see what i think it's giving white claw like the flavors because i'm pretty sure white claw is a black cherry um cheers Okay, 
that's actually pretty good. It's not too electricity. I was really worried that it was gonna be like a White Claw because when you drink a White Claw, it's like very staticky. It's like a super staticky drink and it like sizzles almost. But this is good. I could see myself downing these. It is 4.5% alcohol. I think it would have been cooler if they were like six. That would have been nice. Maybe even seven. Okay, so I've had two. I've had the black cherry and the grapefruit. I feel great. I feel, <sighs> I feel like I could, I could run through a wall. I had three of these motherfuckers. The lime was pretty good. I liked all of them. The black cherry's the best. The lime's, the lime's actually really good. I thought I would hate it, but I liked it. Next up, I already cracked it open, but I've not tried it. The peach. I love peach flavored things. I also changed shirts because this is so cozy. So let's try the peach. I love this flavor. I think it's going to be my favorite, honestly. Yeah, that's good. It has a really good taste, actually. I like the peach. It tastes just like a peach. You really can't even taste the alcohol in here. Also, I did some research. Did you guys know that one shot of vodka is 97 calories? Because I didn't fucking know that. Like, I thought it was going to be like five calories a shot. Like, I thought the extra calories in these seltzer drinks were like added on like sugar and like flavors. Like, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, a shot of vodka is like 97 calories. Little did I fucking know. You take eight shots, you're 800 calories deep. That's fucking crazy. But it's okay. Because <laughs> it's good. And I'm feeling good. Um... I've had a lot of alcohol today. It's so funny. A few days ago, I was um, telling Christian, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take like a six month break, like a five, six month break. Bullshit. Bullshit. I knew it was bullshit. Bullshit. Then. And then these dropped. Um, so here we are. <laughs> I don't care. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, um, there are people who have never drank alcohol or never smoked a day in their life who have died. So I'm going to do what the fuck I want. And I'm going to live my life on my... What? No one was twisting your arm in the first place. I know what I'm just saying. It's just like, I'm going to live my life on my terms and do what the fuck I want. Because, like, there's people who have lived straight edge who have just fucking... Did you make it to 30? Like, so I'm going to, like, do what the fuck I want. Do what the fuck you want. <laughs> That's my advice to you guys. Like, be moderate. Moderate what you do. Be smart about things. Don't be a dumbass. Um, but still have a good fucking time and live your best life. Because you only have one of these motherfucking things. So, if you want to have some vodka and a fucking cigarette, bitch, turn up. Like, fuck it. Do it. Go buy some new clothes. Go get drunk and have a good day. That's what I did today. And um, thank you guys for coming along this day with me and watching this video. Um, if any of the people I uh, ran into today are watching this, shout out to you. Someone fucking DM'd me. And they were like, hey, I saw you today, um, but I didn't want to, like, bother you. And I was like, you should have fucking, like said something because like i love like running into you guys it's so fun like i honestly never expect to see anyone or like run into anyone or like anyone to recognize me so like when someone does it's like super cool because i genuinely don't expect it like um at all so i just i really do appreciate you guys and like i love you guys and um thank you for watching my videos and you know it's i've like been making videos for so long with you guys and it's just like the fact that you guys have stuck around this long is like actually insane so this this drinks for you bitch cheers i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night it's pretty late okay you guys it's the next day and i i decided that i'm going to end the vlog doing something very fun so a few days ago i went to walmart and i bought a bunch of makeup specifically makeup that you would use to cover tattoos um, because I, I, I did this a few years ago, if you guys remember, I covered all my tattoos and makeup. Um, but since then, I've gotten a lot more. So, I have just been curious to see what, like, I will look like, especially since my hair is long again. Um, as you guys know, like, when I first started this channel, or, like, doing YouTube, um, my hair was really long and I had no tattoos. So, I feel like I will look like that again, because I don't feel like I've aged that much, honestly. Um, so I bought a bunch of this, like, shitty, I don't know if this is shitty, it's, like, Walmart makeup. I got a sponge, concealer, foundation, and then this, like, red stuff. It's, like, a color corrector to go over the black ink, um, to cancel it out. We'll see if it works. I'm really excited. I'm gonna go change shirts. Okay, so I am just gonna do 
my neck and my face. I do not feel like doing my arms. Like, bro, that is just too much fucking work. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be very honest. I don't know what I'm really doing. I'm just gonna wing it and hope that it works. Wow, this is like actually going on and like kicking on pretty damn good. I do feel like I am going to get asked if I have any tattoo regrets. And honestly, I don't. Like, sometimes I do. Like, as I'm getting older, you know, I'm about to be 25 this year, and they say that your frontal lobe doesn't develop until you're 25. Like, sometimes I do look in the mirror, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Like, what did I do? But I don't regret it, because you only have one life. And, like, not... I mean, tattoos, especially, like, face tattoos, are way more common nowadays. But it's, like, I feel pretty badass knowing that, like, I did this shit, and it's, like out of the norm and like I wasn't afraid of doing it so like I don't regret it for that reason however sometimes like aesthetically I do feel like I gravitate especially recently like I've been gravitating towards like a more clean aesthetic look and not as much of a like grungy like goth look <laughs> not to say like having tattoos makes you goth because it definitely doesn't because like when I, like, as far as, like, my clothes and stuff like that, I definitely gravitate towards, like, girly things and, like, bright colors. I just like tattoos and, like, I like how they look on people. So, I love my tattoos and I wouldn't change a thing. Wow, this is actually covering really fucking good. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just covered all of my neck and face tattoos. It does look really fucking weird. Like it's obvious that I have makeup on and you can kind of see like the outlines a little. And it's like weird because like my under eyes look weird because I just, I got the makeup all over my face. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but bro, look at this shit. I feel like it looks good. Like I know, like I look good without tattoos. Like I don't feel like I need them. Um, and I don't feel like I use them as, like, a security blanket or anything to, like, like to, like, hide from my face. Because I don't really have, like, any insecurities. Um, wow. I don't know. I, I feel like I definitely look like a girl <laughs> right now. But I don't know. I feel like I like myself with tattoos because it makes me... It's just, like, it adds to, like, the effect. And I feel like it makes me more unique however sometimes i do like i will admit like i do miss like not having any tattoos because it's like sometimes less is more you know like i feel like when i'm in public it, it gives off the like impression that like i want attention and it's like it's easy for someone to be like yeah you have face tattoos you have neck tattoos you must want like attention and it's like actually i don't <laughs> like i hate being perceived um i'm actually the, quite the opposite opposite like i don't like attention like at all like i really don't i know that probably sounds like a load of like horse shit but like i don't I like to be like invisible, but I got the tattoos for myself because I like tattoos and I've always liked tattoos. Um, so I really did it for myself and that's why I don't regret them. Um, but damn, I look good without them. I must say, literal mind fuck. It's more of a mind fuck now um, because the last time I did it, I had short blonde hair, but now that my like natural hair is like grown back out, it's like really giving me like 2019, 2020 nostalgia. Christian has never seen me without neck tattoos or face tattoos. So I'm gonna get him in here to see what he thinks. Oh my God, this is like crazy. Okay. Babe, I need to get, um, I need to see what you think of my tattoo-less face and neck. Like obviously it's makeup. Like you can tell there's makeup on my face. But yeah, like, I know. It's not like good makeup, but. I mean, in this light, it actually looks really realistic. What do you think? You look a little... Oh I look like a girl. <laughs> in the ring, like, you look a little, like, plastic. I do look... I look like a doll. <laughs> but in this light, just in normal light, my eyewitness report is you just look a little orange. Obviously, the, like, this, do, I, do you think I look better with tattoos or without? You look better with tattoos. I really? Mean, yeah, they all seem deliberate and they make up your face. I look like my sister right now. <laughs> you do? I look just like my sister. Holy Orange. shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, 
It's giving yes. beat face. It's giving embalmed. It's giving... I literally look like I died. I kind of serve without tattoos, though, I must say. On a pussy hoe. <laughs> <laughs> so you think I look better with tattoos? 100%. All right. I'm gonna check this shit the fuck you off. Wipe off half your face completely first. When she, make up a thumbnail. Which half should I wipe off? Like <clears throat> this half? The Your left half, the side with the angel on it. I should wipe that side off? Yeah. Literally this go is gonna be satisfying. Oh. oh my god, I'm coming back. It looks like a literal baby wipe, like this shit. <laughs> wait, wait, stay in here. I need moral support. Moral support. You got this. You got this. So half of my face. Yeah. Oh my god, literal Here's skid mark. Wait, you're doing the wrong side. Oh, right, yeah. Duh. <coughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I just wanted to wipe some of it for you. I'm back. Down to your, like, your neck down here. Right. It's crazy how much I look like my sister. It's gonna make one hell of a thumbnail. This may actually, I may have to take a shower, not gonna lie. <laughs> Cause like, oh my god, what shirt are you wearing? This, I don't wear it anymore. Uh -huh. It's like old and cut up. Matters to him. Honestly, like at first I was like, damn, maybe I look better without tattoos. But like, now that it's coming back, it's like, no, I look better. Like I liked myself with them. It's part of who you are. It is. Fuck a normie ass bitch. There you go. Uh. <laughs> Dice. <laughs> you projectile vomit onto my poor phone. Is she simple and natural, or is she goth? <laughs> she had the fuck up. Is she they them goth today, or is she natural, old she money? white girl. Is she white girl, old money, PLL vibes? Or is she... What does this side give? Goth. Oh. Curtis Connor viewer? No. Shut up. You conflate those too often. This side is like trans gay, this side is straight. The, the, the other side's just closet gay. 